Good morning, and I hope you've been well, and this is part 63 of the Pokemon Rejuvenation V13.5 Let's Play, set mode, no items, so yeah. So before we get into today's episode, I do want to apologize for the lack of Rejuvenation videos and Stardew Valley videos on the channel, like I brought up on previous episodes that were uh, kind of like pre-recorded. I was sick for about two weeks. I'm doing a lot better now, and I want to say thank you to the viewers that wish me well. Thankfully, I'm doing a lot better, and we're back at it as usual. So, again, thank you for the kind words. I really do appreciate it. I do also want to get into a small rant. It won't be long. I know I do this almost every episode, I feel, at this point. You guys probably know the drill if you've stayed along for however long you have. I want to apologize for the lack of uploads. Like I brought it before, with focusing on getting better and other things that I got going on, I just haven't put a lot of time into, you know, recording and playing games and whatnot. And I really want to try to turn that around since I think it's been about like five days since I've done a rejuvenation video, so... Again, apologies for that. I know, like I said before, I, I, I cannot upload every single day and really go at it like that with everything that I got going on, but I really want to try to stay somewhat consistent with the channel, so hopefully in the future we'll stick to that for the most part. Most likely, as you can tell, it comes in waves of, oh man, there's a lot, and then... It kind of slows down and it goes back and forth, back and forth. Well, I should say up and down, but yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. You get the point. We'll try to get more into it and try to upload a little bit more to get back on track and make some progress with the series that we got going on on the channel. But I just thought I would say that again, so yeah. Alright, with that being said... Let's go on ahead and continue onwards. But as always, I want to just say that I love you guys and I appreciate everyone that decided to, you know, maybe watch this episode or any Let's Play or video on the channel. It does mean a lot and I know I do this as well. I know I'm not the most entertaining or fun person on the planet. I'm definitely more chill, down the earth, again, not really fun or anything like that. But I think somebody brought it up before that um, they really enjoy like the videos as a like background noise as they're doing. I think they were doing like college work or something like that and had the videos off to the side while they're doing stuff like that. However you wish to go about it. I, I think that's I don't know like it's weird for me to like word because like it still like surprises me that people do enjoy the videos and they watch them however they do it and I, I don't know like it, it surprises me with how I am and whatnot but again I just want to say like thank you for sticking along to whoever may be seeing this it, it really does mean a lot to me so yeah anyways enough of that huh isn't that but it cannot be canon 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 can you hear me wake the hell up um Huh? Huh, what am I doing here? I thought I was obliterated by Gardevoir. Yeah, we saw that too. But look at you now, not even a scratch. Care to explain what's that about? That isn't true. I have been scratched. My Salamence is truly gone for good. Now, similar to the last episode when I brought up the certain line where Cannon said, you know, the lady in the mask was right. You all were up to no good. Same thing here. I feel like these lines that are about to, say, about to be said by Cannon are very overlooked and can be very easily overlooked. I might be wrong on that because I don't know the overall opinion on other players that have played Rejuvenation multiple times. But for new or somewhat repeat players that kind of like have issues comprehending and understanding this complex puzzle of a game. 
I really feel like this is something that really needs to be, you know, paid attention to. My Salamence has truly gone for good. It, uh, sorry, I was destroyed, it's true, but I suddenly came to in what one would call oblivion. But there she was again, the lady in the mask. She reached out to me and grabbed my hand. She told me that she could save me, but only me. The price of my new life would be Salamence's demise. You're not making any sense, but I believe you. You guys do, but the proof is in the pudding. We don't have time to wallow in self-pity because you weren't able to do the job of destroying Q gear and Gardevoir hired someone else. We have to stop her at all costs. You with us? Yes, yes, you are right. I have to keep fighting, even without Salamence. Besides, if Q Guren City is destroyed, that would mean Malia's death too. She's done so much for me. I refuse to let her die. Good answer, Alon. Cannon, let's save Q Guren City. So, as they're walking off, I do want to go into a somewhat decently sized spoiler rant to really talk about that and just dive on into that. As usual, go to the comment section below if you wish to not be spoiled. The timestamps will be there for you. Yeah. Alrighty, so again, we're getting into spoiler territory now. So it's something that I brought up before, and before I say this, I know that there are a multitude of possible theories, scenarios, and all sorts of ways that this could all work out. There are a numerous amount, and almost even an infinite amount, sorry, that I could say. But I, I want to try somewhat connecting the dots, but also sounding a little bit crazy as well. So, going to chapter 3, and I know that's a wild thing to go into. The reason I'm bringing that up is because it's very similar to this. More so on those that chapter... And by the way, it might be chapter 3 or chapter 4, I don't remember. The one with uh, Maria or Marionette. I feel like with that one, it's very overlooked with the amount of info that is said there. Similar to this part here. The whole thing with the lady in the mask, him saying that you guys are up to no good. And then this part here where Cannon's like, yeah, she appeared before me again. She took my hand. She said... That in exchange for your life, Salamence has to go. I really feel like a lot of people, and I might be wrong on this, might overlook that. And I don't want people to overlook that because there's not a lot of things that are said about Oblivion. But that little thing there, she did the change, or change, she did the trade for Cannon's life for Salamence's demise. And it's odd. It's it's still somewhat odd to me because like I, I I try to like understand Madame X, and I know I've gotten some really interesting comments. You know, as the series like series sorry has like progressed with Madame X, with Team Zen, with all sorts of different things, and there's a lot of valid points from a lot of people that have made comments throughout the series. And going off of like how I think and feel in this moment with all of that, I, I go back to what I've said so many times. I feel like at the end of the day, Madam X, the entire goal is still oblivion. It is still to wipe this world and just send everything to oblivion. I think that is the ultimate goal. However, I feel like it is a thing that it's for the greater good. Now, whether it's to stop Indred, stop Varia, or to stop some other thing that's going on, and there is a thing that I want to throw to the table that is a very, very odd thing, but I'll get into that in a moment. But either way, th that's how I feel on the whole thing. She's willing to play the role as the villain, as the bad guy, for the greater good, because you go into certain points within the game like 
for an example, um, you know, Malia and the Forest. Again, I brought up the example that, and I believe a few people have like comment on that as well, and brought up their own theories, that if Madame X really wanted to at any given point, she could take Malia and there's not a single thing that any of us could do. I can't do nothing. Adam can't do nothing. Venom can't do nothing. Saki ain't gonna do nothing. Th there's nobody here that can stop her. There might be a small few that might rival at the most. The only other people that I can think of that's honestly stronger. Again, probably Indred. Varia, technically. And there's probably a few handful, right? But for the most part, she could have easily done it if she wanted to. But for some reason, she didn't. And it just, it, it plays with my mind a little bit. Because I remember a, um, a long-time viewer, he brought it up um, from like a, I think like a Q&A. With um, like the green eye thing that appeared as um, you and Malia were having the picnic together. Um, he said something, I have to go back, it's an earlier episode. But he brought up something that, I think Jane said something like, you know, things happen and let's just say it didn't work out? Question mark? Which goes back to, you know, what I've said before with a few things. And maybe I have not said this yet. But um, with her being in possession of the Time Diamond, she's able to revert back if mistakes are made. Which tells me, for some reason, she has gone through many scenarios. She has to have gone through many times and many scenarios. And I think somebody brought up an idea that there's multiple Madame X's as well. I, I don't remember if it was from the long time viewer or somebody else, but somebody brought that up too, which is honestly possible because like different timelines and whatnot, it, it's possible. I, I kind of want to stick to the idea that there's only one, but to be fair, no, there, it's not unreasonable that there could be multiple of them, but not to get too confusing on all of that, the time diamond. Whenever a mistake is made, she's able to revert it back to redo it again in the way that it's meant to. I feel like, to some level, I, I, she has to know about Varia, in a sense. Maybe not. See, but, but, no, right, because, like, think about it. She said it before, the pyramid, back within, sorry, like, fast forward to, like, chapter, what, 12 or 13? No, 12, if I'm not mistaken. She explained to Hugh, it's a ship. And she knows things that most don't even know about. It, go to even, what is it, chapter 13, where she's hiding behind the tree. Ren, Ven, and Malia walk in to, you know, the third layer, and they explore all of that. And behind the tree, she's standing there, hiding, and she says, find out the truth for yourself, Malia. It was something like that, which tells me she knows about a lot of that. But how? Why? Why does she know it? How does she know it? And for me, the only explanation is she knows rejuvenation is a game. She knows that Varia has created this insanely insane game. And she pretty much wants to put an end to that and be like, this isn't real. N none of this, it, like, yeah, we're moving around. We have free will and whatnot. But like most people, like they're just like NPCs. It's not the real world. It's not the one that originally was old Earth. So I feel like to an extent, Madame X's idea and ideals are, we got to go back to that. The world is, you know, what is that? Um, Malia brought it up as well. The world is crumbling at the seams. And I believe that to be true because I believe at the end of it, with the whole war, afterwards, Varia was creating the statue and whatnot, and then, if I'm not mistaken, people from other nations were rushing in, they were rushed on time, they couldn't necessarily perfect it, but they had no time. They had to do rejuvenation. They had to get the 17 souls, one died, Adres became the 17th one, 
and they had to do it. There was no time. And I feel like with that whole thing, it was rushed. She couldn't perfect it. And the reason why, you know, the whole backwards text thing, when she says, you know, it's cracking at the seams, there are hints and cracks within the game that still show some pieces of old earth. Like, think about it. You still can go underground to the third layer where everything, like, originated with, you know, testing with people with, like, um, the archetype and whatnot, finding who is worthy, who is not worthy, and so many other, like, things here and there that show that there are cracks within this world. It's not perfect. And I think Madame Max, for some reason, I don't know how, maybe she's somebody from a different time from an old nation that tried to stop her from doing that. Maybe Madame X, you know, from a very popular idea, is Malia, is Maria or Marionette, and has played this game multiple times and failed multiple times trying to get the perfect ending, the perfect game, by creating Oblivion, by stopping all of that and redoing everything as you know it, it intended to be not this elaborate game that Variety has created but actually a real world i feel like that all just doesn't make sense but I, i'm trying to word it in a way that can make sense it, it's it gets into like confusing territory i don't know I, I don't know. I feel like there's a part of me that like it, it makes sense, but there's also a part of me that it's like, but there's so many holes, there's so many other things that we don't know yet. But back to it though, like again, like or maybe she's Malia going back to all of that. And again, she's gone through this multiple times. She knows everything, and she knows that in this world, this timeline, I've made so many mistakes. I've seen so many bad things happen. I have to do this play out how Variah wants to, play this game, and try to get to the end game that I can finally stand before Variah. Or maybe Indra, I, I don't know. Or somebody else, I, I, I don't know. But what I do know is, I, I do believe Madame X, and I, I'll, I'll include Clear and Kieran as well, the ultimate, ultimate, the ult, I cannot say or speak today, the, the final goal is oblivion but i do believe it's to create a much more better world because again there's so many grunts that are willing to sacrifice themselves at the beginning at garen city you know a lot of them were like if we don't find malia then and they were like it was like dark it was depressing they they were like yeah i i know that on my chest on my uniform is the mark of death the green jewel crystal whatever you want to call it i know that I am disposable if I make too many errors. Even with the Death Wings, one mistake, you're done. Game over, man. Sorry. They all know that. So why would they be willing to go through all of that and to put themselves on the line just to go into a world that is just nothing but just dark gray and everything's just gone and it's just there's nothing there why it, it doesn't make sense why any like sane person would even follow that unless for an example madame x is you know lying through her teeth to all these grunts and whatnot and she's just playing the long game making them believe this and then that's the ultimate goal is that you know dark gray area or you and Malia like Traverse and whatnot. Like the different Malia and different timeline Malia, different timeline Alon, if that makes sense. I don't believe that to be true, but it's possible. I don't know. Maybe she's willing to do that just so the game is over. Rejuvenation is over with her eye and all of that. I don't know. I don't know. It... it I, I can go on and on with so many different scenarios, so many different theories. There, there are a, and many of you guys have brought up things to the table that, yeah, it, it's a hundred percent possible. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I derailed quite a bit, but I, I just feel that at the end of it, that Oblivion 
is the end game. It is the goal. But I, I don't know because like I, I go back to it. It's like I mean she even like there's remarks about her, you know, like wanting to bring the world to her knees. Like but and then like there's other things too, you know, like the one in the millions, Malia, the millions matter. I you gotta sacrifice the one you love. Even Madam X agreed with Spatia and Tempa. Of course, Madam X clearly does not like them. However, she herself even agreed to that. That, yeah, the millions matter. Without that, th there is no world. There, there's nothing. So that just tells me in a sense that even though I think she's willing to wipe, you know, the slate clean, I think it's more so to redo everything and to stop Indred and to stop this whole you know like control thing this whole game with rejuvenation i i think that's the goal to just wipe it all clean and then that's that but of course you have people like me malia venom alita and all the other characters that you know you know you could even say it, it's somewhat similar to desolation I, i'll even throw that in the mix why not Let, let's get a little bit wacky the whole dr like dream well hold up Heavy spoilers on Desolation if you've not played that game. Just a heads up. I, I know we're in spoiler spoiler territory, but let me... Okay. Desolation. The whole thing with like the dream and whatnot. You're fooled by... Um, oh my god, what's her name? Not Nova. Not Lilith. Um, uh, she has like black, pink, or not pink, like black... Does she have, like, pink on? I don't know. I think she's mostly, like... Maybe it's, like, a black and red or black and pink, like, outfit. It's something like that. I uh, see her face and her sprite in the box corner. She has, like, uh, pigtails. I think two of them. Her brother's Shiv. Why am I forgetting her name? I, I look I, I could see her sprite I could see her face um oh that's gonna upset me oh um I, I guess the name I, I'll remember it an hour from now I guess the name doesn't really matter but um but that whole thing you know you learn about the real world that it's not all sunshines and rainbows but then you go back to the dream state and with the whole thing of dark ride and whatnot there comes a point where we're all like you know we've known each other for so long like i, I want this to be the real world and in our sense at this point we, we don't necessarily know what we're fighting for but we know that we have to stop team zen from starting storm nine well that is what's an un that's what's in all of our minds now, of course, it's never really confirmed that the goal is Storm 9. Now, th there is a whole thing that I want to get into a Storm 9 and all of that, but I I'll do that another episode. But um, that's kind of like what's in our minds at this point. But of course, Team Zen, Madam X, we don't know if that's their ultimate, ultimate goal, sorry, it it with that being like Storm 9. But anyways... Um, yeah, like, with this one, like, it could be just be like, you know, like, I love our friends, I love this and that, I, I don't want to be wiped away, I, I, I don't want to be gone, you know? Because at the end of it, you know, at Amos Grotto, I believe that's where the whole reset happens. One person that stands in the middle is the one that, you know, stays. The rest are gone. And a lot of us here, similar to Desolation, might be like, whoa, I like this world. I, I, I would rather it not be a, a, a fake world that Varia has created. And I don't know if I want to use the word like fake because like it, it it is like a real world. But at the same time, it's not though. But to be fair, like... I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it gets into tricky territory with the whole Varia thing and the game thing and whatnot. Like... It, I, like it is real like all of this is real but at the same token it, it's not old earth this is like rejuvenation 
I don't know. I, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I, I can go on and on forever. And there's so many things that I probably messed up on and probably could have worded better. And I know down the road, I'm going to throw out different ideas and whatnot, but I'll leave it at that. And by the way, um, I know I got a comment from a longtime viewer. He, he was talking about like how he missed, you know, some... Like, uh, like a lot of the videos, like, haven't really gotten into, like, a lot of theories and wacky stuff. I do, from now on, want to try to go more into theories throughout the videos. Alright, sorry for the pause there. I kind of died for a second, but we're good now. Um, right, uh, theories and whatnot. Um, the reason, like, I haven't really done a lot of them in the past, like, I, I know I've done a few and some explanation stuff here and there, is because of mainly two re reasons sorry uh one they take up a lot of time because <laughs> like I, I think i started the rant at like six minutes and something seconds and it's like 25 minutes now they, they just eat up a lot of time but i it, it's just something i i enjoy doing i i love you know just like picking at my mind for a moment to try to understand this and, and there's so many things that i don't know there's so many things that i don't understand and, and same with like viewers but again theorizing and talking with you guys it, it's fun Th that's one of the wonders of this game and I, I have to give credit again to jane and all of them like they have created a game that most fama games have not done it's insane what he's done with this game but um i'll try to get more into all of that and plus oh yeah the second reason early game like yeah there are things that you could point out here and there but it's more of like this era and onwards is when things really start going and the ball gets a rolling you know with more lore and some things kind of like getting answered and shown and whatnot so yeah I'll try to get more into all of that in the future. I do, by the way, I think I brought it up before. If I haven't, I'll say it here. I do, similar to the first Rejuvenation series, the normal Let's Play, I really want to do a redo of the Identity of Madam X video that I did during that let's play within this one as well and really bring up some new things to the table and Go down like a list of the characters that I think could be her I do want to redo that soon and honestly that but that might be in like the next Episode or two that I want to do that I might I mean, like, I feel like I should do it around this time, but I kind of thought about holding off on that a little bit just to kind of make some more progress with rejuvenation, but we'll see how it goes overall. But that is something that I do want to get into since a lot of people do love theorizing and speculating about Madame X, so yeah. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I rambled on too long. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're done with that, and I do need to redo the team soon. There's no sight of her anywhere. This is just perfect. Q Guerin City is very large. I'm not even sure where to begin. Let me think for a second. Perhaps we should split up. We can cover more ground that way. I would be more for that if you still had Salamence, but... I suppose if I do find her, there won't be much of a difference. Okay, we gotta choose a direction and take it. Where are we going? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. To the north. Let's go, people. I don't see her anywhere. We must have gone the wrong way. Let's pick another place to look and let's just go. Yeah, let's go. For a moment. There, I crushed it. Gardevoir, the plan was successful. I'm ready to be transported back to the base. What's going on? Why aren't I... N no. No. 
No. I gotta say, every time that I go to this scene, I, I love it, man. I remember when this was like a newly added thing to Rejuvenation. I love it. it it's so cool, man. With, you know... I can't really get in, like, spoiler territory. I mean, I, I will to talk about some of these, but, like... And let me just read all of this first before I talk about some things. I don't think you realize how much trouble you are. You've created so many problems. Problems that I've had to solve myself. Do you know where we are? You have no idea, correct? Hmm. I've laid out everything. Now, by the way, I think this is new, actually. Like the um, sprite, not sprite, but the artwork of her and whatnot. Interesting. I do want to... One day I want to look into the... Um, well... I'll save it for the Madam X video. I've laid out everything, but you, you continue to change everything. Because of this ability to change, I've saved you countless times. All because you're so important to everything. So important, but so careless. But why are you so important? Who are you? Why are you interfering with everything? Trying to get an answer out of you is futile. I don't think you know the answer yourself. I'm going to fix this one again. This time, you'll need to do it right. We have work to do, Alon. So much work. Let's wind it back. Now, before we go any further... I know we did a long rant. I want to do another one here because a lot was said here. As usual, go to the comment section below if you don't want to get spoiled. Yeah. All right, we're now in spoiler territory. Now, I wanted to go back and rewind. Get it? Rewind. Time diamond. All right, let me stop being cringe. Okay, so I wanted to go back to the beginning of this to really go into a lot of the, uh, like, text here one by one. Now, one key thing that I want to bring up that is a very, very cool detail that I, I may be wrong on this, but I think it was intentional. The beginning scene where Alon was, like, holding, like, um, his or her hand, however... Like, you play the character as as a him or her. De again, depending on your gender and whatnot. But anyways, um, let's just say he. As he's holding on to, like, his head and whatnot, I really feel that those were repressed memories from the original Alon. Because you've noticed throughout the game here and there, as... Whenever you made the deal as the original Alon, not us, not me playing as like Alon or, you know, Arena, Axel, and all the other ones, not the original, or sorry, like, it, it gets confusing as I word it, but like, um, pretty much like the original Alon, back then, within um, the original storm that happened, where all of you know, their friends were taken away from him, from the Nihiligo, if I'm not mistaken. They were definitely different looking, but something of the sort like that. 
and one by one the friends perished and were turned to stone if I'm not mistaken. There came a point that, you know, they pushed Crescent down the, the um, like the hill or the cliffside, however you want to call or word it, and they were willing to sacrifice themselves. There then came a point that, whatchamacallit, um, I think, um, oh, Crescent came across the black box. She went into battle with Crescent and Kieran. She won the first one, obtained the black box. She revived the lawn. And then on the boat, there came the point on him being like, like, what, what are you doing? Like, there, there's so many voices in my head. Like, why out? Like, it hurts and whatnot. And then there came Varia. She stands before you. She makes the deal with you. And she says, I can bring another player that is out of this world. And th I know I'm rambling, but it it's important here. I, I promise it I I'll tie in that into this whole thing in a moment. She makes the deal and she says, your power will be have, but somebody that is outside of all of this will control your body, will control your actions. And Alon says, done, okay. I don't want to live this life anymore. I, I, I should be dead. It hurts. I, I don't, I shouldn't be here. Whatever, let him do it. And the deal happens. And of course, Crescent thinks that you're Alon, the original Alon, but in reality, you're not. Alon is me, the one that's playing this character. Or maybe you that's playing Alon, or, you know, any of the other characters. Arena, Axel, uh, Ario, um, oh, why am I, um, forgetting their names? I shouldn't be forgetting. Avis, Avia, those are the other two. Whoever you're playing as. So, yeah. But again, like I said before, I, I, I'll reel that in in a moment. I really feel that a part of that where they were like grabbing onto like their head and like in like pain is because of the situation of obliteration happening. Of obli I don't want to say like a like obliteration and oblivion, but pretty much some sort of like trauma surged into, you know, our body. And I feel like that is... You know, the old Alon being like, no, not again. And then we get to this point. We're back to normal because we're not actually dead. Very cool detail with what Jane did there. I think that was intentional. It may not have been, honestly. But if it is, very cool. But again, with that whole thing and whatnot, it, it will wrap into this at some point. I don't think you realize how much trouble you are. You've created so many problems, problems that I've had to solve myself. Do you know where we are? You have no idea, correct? Now, of course, you're right. We don't know what this is. Now, of course, I would safely assume it has something to do with the time diamond, with like the gears and whatnot around her. And as she said before, you've caused so many problems. You know how many times I had to revert this? How many times I had to fix your mistakes? I've laid out everything, but you, you continue to change everything. So that line right there, very interesting. You change everything ever since you came into the mix. My plans have gone backwards. I had this entire thing laid out, but out of nowhere, you appeared. And I have to not only go about the plan, and go about everything how I intended it to be, I also got to keep up with you. And that also fits into the idea, by the way, of her being like, I've had a plan laid out. I know everything from step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16, of course, being the final chapter. I have all of these plans. But then you come into the mix. And 
I have to make sure that you don't screw up. Because if you screw up, it messes me up. And I really feel that that fits into the whole idea that she herself needs Alon, needs Malia, needs all of these characters because of the plan. Now, whether that plan is to stop Indra, Varaya with the whole game thing, and to stick to how the game was intended to be played, because again, if she does something different, bad things happen and she's got to redo it again until she can get to the end game where, you know, whether it's her going up against Vitus, Varaya, or somebody else, or whatever it is, she has to do it step by step in the correct way that the game was meant to be played. Because if she goes, you know, off the deep end or does something different, it falls apart. She's got to do it exactly as her plans have been laid out. Because of this ability to change, I've saved you countless times. See, that's an interesting line there, because of this ability to change. Now, of course, I assume that's referring to the time diamond. And what's interesting is, like, the little things around here. Like, the little, like, portal thing. It looks and resembles, like, the thing in the corner, the little circle. It almost, like, resembles the thing that, you know, Claire and Karen, like, jump in and out of, you know? I don't know if that has anything to do with that, but it is interesting, you know? And then... Of course, you know, the jewel that's below her neck and then the jewel that's on her, like the top of her mask, is very similar to, whatchamacallit, like all the other grunts. And, and that's like an interesting thing too. She herself is wearing that jewel. Now, of course, it, it could mainly just be because, um, you know, when somebody makes mistakes and dies, you know... The soul goes to her. And of course she has the ability to, you know, keep them alive or to allow the soul to die. I don't know if she like takes in the soul to, you know, keep her within this time. Because again, the, the suit has to be some sort of protection. It has to be some sort of life support or a way that she can't get deleted from this world. Because like she may be from a different time and whatnot. There, there are so many which ways and scenarios with all of that. I'll get into that more on the Madame X video itself. I, I, I don't want to get into that whole thing right now. But yeah, like it, it's interesting. All because you're so important to everything. So important, but so careless. And again, th that's something that's interesting. All because you're so important to everything. So important, but so careless. Again, she understands and knows you're important. I need you here. You cannot not be here. But unfortunately, you're careless. There are things that could have been done better, but because of you being careless, Q Guren was destroyed. And who knows the other situations that she had to get us on out of, you know? But why are you so important? Who are you? Now that line right there, it's interesting. She acknowledges the importance, but then she comes in and says, but why? Why are you important? Why are you valuable? Who even are you? And it's interesting because Honestly, it, it kind of makes sense. Let's go into the idea that she's gone through different scenarios going back and forth, back and forth, you know, and, and failed, retried, failed, retried, failed, retried. And then out of nowhere, we up and appear out of nowhere. Because again, you go back to V13.5. There's a point that Varia stands well technically the tablet eye thing let's just call it varia the tablet eye varia thing whatever stands before malia and alan not us alan but a different timeline alan the original one and you know malia at the time is like karma is such a blank you know I, I don't curse but you know exactly what she says and then she's like oh karma you know 
It may be off, it may be weird, it may be dumb, but it sounds so exciting. Let's do it. Why not? So many versions, so many timelines, so many, you know, chapters have just been failures. But you said the word karma. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe that's what I'm needing to create the perfect run of rejuvenation. The perfect game. You might be onto, onto something, Malia. You go up the elevator. You go through the Paradox Rift. Malia leaves. You stay behind. And I believe to some level and to some significance, that jump starts rejuvenation. This version, this game here. It's another redo, another remake of the game that Varia has decided to do. And Madame X has gone through trial and error, trial and error, but this one's different somehow. She didn't expect this. Who are you? Why are you so important? How did you get here? She's confused. She's puzzled. See, but here's the odd thing, though. I say all of that, but then in the future, she's like, like, during, like, the Doom timeline, she's like, oh, now I understand. You're the Interceptor. I understand now. I get it. So, that must mean that potentially, in different timelines, there had to be previous Interceptors, but not like us. Because again, the, actually, no, I can even back that up. V, V said it herself, yeah, I, I was an Interceptor from timeline something, something, something. And with her, clearly she's under Varia's control. And it's like, not, I mean, yes and no, it's, I'm not here to get into the Varai thing. It, it gets complicated. It, it's hard to word. I, I think you get the point on that. But for us, this time around, she's like, they're acting weird. They're careless. They make mistakes. Why? But then it clicks in her head. Oh, you're the Interceptor. You're still weird, but you're the Interceptor. Of course, she doesn't actually say that, but... You get the point, though. She finally wraps it around, like, I, I get it now, I understand that. But there's something different about you. And she's right. Because at the end of it, we're not bounded and chained up and puppeteered by Varia. In a sense, kinda we are, but also not. Because again, we have free will. If I wanted to, you know what? Hold up. Done. We're not doing the game anymore. I have control. I, I, I can do whatever I want. And Varaya can't stop me. I, I don't have to play the game. Alright, sorry about that. I, I was just trying to like make a point there. But, but the thing is, like... That's what I'm just trying to like show and prove. That we technically... like We, we could do whatever we want. But everyone else here... Is in some way, shape, and form... You know, confined and, you know, like chained up by the system that was created by Varia herself. Because, like, even Madame X, again, I, I go back to it. If she wanted Malia, she could have taken her at any given point, but for some reason she hasn't. And there has to be a reason for that. And I think that reason is if she did that, then bad things happen. The game doesn't end, things don't change. And she has to allow it to play out as Varia wants it to. And the way that she made it. Why are you interfering with everything? Trying to get an answer out of you is futile. I don't even think you know the answer yourself. And to be fair, she's right. At this point in the game, let's say you're a new player. You're right. You don't even know. And she brings up interesting points, like, like, why? Why? Why are you doing this? But you know what? It's futile. It doesn't matter. Because you don't even know. And again, she's right. Especially for a new player. Because you are thrown into this game, and you don't know a lot of the things with Varia. And even to, like, repeat players in a sense... You're right. I don't know. 
There are things that I do know, but there's so many unknowns. Just so many things that I don't even know. I'm going to fix this once again. This time you'll need to do it right. We have work to do, Alon. So much work. And I think it's interesting because like, at that point there, we have work to do. Not I, we. She acknowledges and she knows I'm important. All the characters here, they have value. They're important. And it's like she brought up before, within the Doom timeline, you know, we have to do it together. Do I wish I could do it all on my own and figure it out on my own? Yeah, I bet she would if she couldn't, if she could, but she knows she can't. She needs Alon. She needs Malia. She needs Nastasia. She, again, like she brought up, unity is the strongest thing that we have. When she confronted, you know, Madalus for her making mistake after mistake after mistake, she acknowledges that. I can't do it alone. And, and it's interesting because, like, I think it's such a cool thing about her. She's a one-man army. She is built different. She is incredibly strong. She is... You know what? Yeah, I, I could say it. She's very OP, man. Like, she is just overpowered. There are so many things in this world that can't even do anything to her. There's a few that probably can, but most people, they can't do nothing. But even she herself knows, I need you. I need Alon in this game. I need my team. I need Team Zen. Because without that, there's nothing. There's no unity. And again, it even fits into, you know, the one of the millions. She values the quantity. She val- well, I'm not trying to say, like, quantity over quantity. Qual or quantity over quality but like you you get the point she values the people like more than just the one i'm wording it weird but i think you get the point i don't know i don't know there's so many things that i i, I can go on and on about but i think we'll leave it at that let's wind it back By the way, it's just the backwards text, if anyone's curious of what they were discussing previously. There's no sight of her anywhere. This is just perfect. Q Guren City is very large. I'm not even sure where to even begin. Let me think for a second. Perhaps we should split up. We can cover more ground that way. I would be more... For that if you still had Salamence, but I suppose if I do find her, there won't be much of a difference. Okay, we gotta choose a direction and take it. Where are we going? Blakery Company. Blakery Co. That would make sense after all. You're right, let's head on over there now. We don't have much time to waste. For a moment. Hey guys, I was just looking for you all. No time, come with us. And just what do you think you're doing? Huh? How? How did you all catch up to me like this? And how is that boy alive? Gardevoir passed her judgment to this child. Don't know, don't care. Hand over the orb right now. You- what? You mean this one? Cannon grabbed the explosive orb. Yes, that one. Thank you for your compliance. 
What? Nice one, Cannon. It was just that simple. You wretched children, I won't stand for this. Give the orb back to me this instant. Yeah, I got bad news. Not happening. Oh, right. That's okay. We shouldn't lose to her. At least, hopefully, we don't. Alright, so that... Oh. Probably, what, 1 HP? Going to Claire. Let's go for knockoff. Alright, so you don't get an item. Bro. There we go. And then I can go... Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. Wrong move, I, I didn't mean to go for that. There we go. You can't be serious. I've... I failed through and through. Yeah, you can leave now. I'm going to report this to Gardevoir and Master Indred. Just you wait. Huh? You are? You're going to tell them you failed? That's pretty brave considering what they did to Cannon for his insolence. Huh. Do you really think that's going to fly well? I personally don't think so. If I were you, I'd forget this ever happened and move on. Or maybe you like being blown to bits in the matter of milliseconds. On second thought, I think I'm going to move very far away and become a baker. Yes, now, doesn't that sound splendid? I agree. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Good luck as a baker. Can someone explain what's going on? I'm very confused. Um, about ten minutes of awkward explaining from Cannon, Elan, and Venom later. I believe that's the gist of it. So basically, Cannon's holding on to a ticking time bomb. Yes. Get that thing out of the city already. If that thing goes boom, then I... I don't even want to think about it. We would if we knew how. I don't exactly feel comfortable with it being here either. Irvin may know what to do with this. Irvin is knowledgeable on many things and may be possible. Sure, let's go see what Irvin has to say about this. Just don't you dare drop that thing on the way. And thus we've come here to ask if you knew what to do with it. Well, I've examined this thing and it seems to be chalked full of psychic energy. As long as it remains intact, it should be safe. Professor, we already knew that. We want to know how to get rid of it safely. I guess I'll post, or post a support ticket. Support ticket? What is this? Customer service? Whenever I have an issue here that is beyond me, I contact Spatia and Tempa via support ticket at their lodge. This will get solved by them, I'm sure. As for now, I'll keep the orb in my possession. It's been a long day. You all should rest now. He seems to care so much about all of this. I think it's more that he doesn't like interacting with Spatia and Tempa. Be as it may, he's right. We should slow down and rest in the meantime. I'll be off to my room. That's just it then? Yeah, the duo will take care of everything from this point. Huh, kind of anticlimactic, but it'll do. I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. You look forward to any kind of sleep. Hey, that isn't a crime, yeah? Guess not. Cool, cool. Now, before we go on the bed and whatnot, I think that'll be it for today's episode. And then next episode, we'll continue on with the story and all of that. Oh, right. With the Gardevoir battle. Last episode. I do want to remind players, and I, I'll bring it up in the next... Probably next episode, grab the apartment key. I cannot stress it enough, especially for new players, unless you want to play the game without doing all of that, that's totally fine. I'll get more into it as we get to that point, but I would highly advise you grab that key if you have not already. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. Definitely didn't make a lot of progress, but it's been fun 
going back and forth speculating on certain things and talking about stuff. I'd say it's a good episode. I've enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.